Hey there fellow Minecrafters, welcome back to the Draki series here, this is Jason and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial video. I'm in Minecraft 1.19.2 and I'm on the Java edition, but this should also help if you're on Bedrock as well, so that's, you know, console, pocket edition, the Switch, all that cool stuff, and... I'm going to be showing you how to get infinite lava in Minecraft, that is right. So, this might be something you did not know existed, and um, I would imagine quite a few new players to the game do not know about this feature, and that is about, you know, actually collecting lava using cauldrons like this. So, I've made a very, very bog-standard, simple dripstone lava farm, in a way, and it's incredibly simple to use and I'm just going to go over how this thing works and kind of introduce this feature to you, especially as I say if you are a new or returning player to the game. And obviously Dripstone has been in the game for a while, it's been in probably, you know, ever since Minecraft 1.17, but you're going to want to get these pointed dripstone blocks. So you can obviously find these as uh, stalactites or stalagmites in dripstone caves in the world, and you will need these in order to actually get the lava. Now, you might actually notice right here that we've got drips of lava coming off these, and the reason why is because we have a lava source right above it. So, in order to get infinite lava, you need to find lava in the first place, but once you actually have a bunch of lava, lava then becomes a renewable resource in the game, using this method. So how this basically works is that uh, dripstone, pointed dripstone, these, so these small uh, stalactites right here, they randomly get updated by the game. And when they are randomly updated, it basically checks if there's a lava source uh, two blocks above it. So in this case, as you can see, the lava is directly above this block. So that is indeed two blocks above the pointed dripstone. And if that is the case, if there is a cauldron within 10 blocks below it, then it has a chance to fill it up. And it, this one just filled up right here. So the chance of it actually happening is about 6%. It's about 5.9% chance of actually occurring. So on average, it's about um, your the individual cauldrons will probably f fill up on average about once a Minecraft day, but it can be a lot more um, you know a lot more like recurrent than that. It can it can happen a lot faster than that, and it could recur multiple times a day. It just depends on the chance that the game actually calculates for each you know, pointed dripstone and each uh, cauldron. But as you can see, this is a pretty nifty feature and it allows you to have lava for, you know, fuel or making, you know, obsidian uh, builds or whatever you have want to do because this allows you to get sources of lava from the cauldron and you can then use that to make obsidian or fuel or whatever you want to do. Now, I'm going to very quickly kind of go over how to make this just so that you have all that information, but it is pretty straightforward. So I'm going to make a very simple freeway cauldron one. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place your cauldrons and then you're going to want to bring up uh, the wall right here. I do it to about this sort of level right here to this level and then what you're going to want to do is place the pointed dripstone underneath like so. Now this kind of happens anyway. Um, it actually places them in a in a regular pattern. There's not really much you can do about that. But once you actually place those pointed dripstone, then the lava needs to be placed right here. So what we then have to do here is we need to make like a little uh, a little like container for it using this stone. And this is what I do right here. We make this kind of uh, container. And then we place the lava in here, like so. And then you will see that the uh, pointed dripstone then starts dripping uh, lava, as you can see right there. So that is how you make it in very, very simple terms. And the nice thing about this design as well, or the nice thing about doing this kind of farming, is what you can actually do here is you can actually extend these very, very easily. 
And how we're going to do that is we're going to do this basically. We're going to extend this way like that. We can then place one more lava to make it uh, longer. We are then going to place a cauldron down here and then build up this wall like so. And then we can place a pointed dripstone right here. So as you can see, you can extend the farm very, very easily. And the more and more lava you get, obviously then, you know, you can make more and more of these farms. So it makes it a very renewable resource. And I just thought when I was playing the game that not many people might know about this to get infinite lava or that lava is actually a renewable source. So hopefully you found this tutorial useful. Obviously it's not a very pretty farm. I'm just showing you the functionality and the feature. You can make it a lot more sophisticated and stunning uh, as a build if you want to, but that just shows you the general gist of things. All right, everyone, that's about it for this very quick tutorial. As I said, this tutorial is meant to be for new and returning players to the game in general, because this might be a feature you did not know existed. But if you did enjoy this video and learn something new, then a like and subscribe on the video would be very much appreciated. And make sure to click the notification bell so you don't see, stay notified of any more future videos. Be sure to follow my Twitter, which is now on screen or in the description of the video. And I hope to see you in the next video. I hope to reach 20,000 subscribers as my next goal. So if you could help me achieve that, then that'd be absolutely amazing. And it would mean the world to me if more and more of you guys could join on the channel and obviously view all the, the Minecraft content that I'm producing. But um, I'll see you guys next time. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.